Now over the last decade, there's been uh, another really phenomenal um, uh, discovery made that uh, has huge epidemiological um, implications, and that is the emergence of uh, HPV-driven tumors. Uh, so as smoking rates in the countries have decreased, head and neck cancer, classical risk factor associated head and neck cancer is actually less common, but base of tongue and tonsillar cancers are increasing um, at uh, quite a, a substantial rate. And we know that that is due to uh, a, a virus, uh, the uh, sexually transmitted HPV virus, that uh, for some reason affects males to females in a three to one ratio, much like classic risk factor associated head and neck cancer was more common in males, um, but is site specific to the oropharynx and base of tongue. Now we treat these patients uh, in many ways in the same way as we would treat classic risk factor induced uh, head and neck cancer, uh, but the prognosis of these patients is much better. Cure rates are higher. And what we're struggling with now, and it is a really good struggle to have, is how can we treat these patients with less? Do we really need to be as aggressive, as intensive, as we had been over the years in patients with uh, head and neck cancer due to tobacco and alcohol?